Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. I am Chris, the old school picker. So yesterday I sold multi-quantity items to three different buyers. Stay tuned. I'll tell you all about it. All right. Welcome back. Um, as I said in the intro, good day yesterday again i don't have a whole lot of multi-quantity sales to one buyers um because i sell so much different type items but yesterday but i to say all that i have been buying a lot of larger collections of the same type items lately so that kind of does make sense that i've sold some similar stuff to the same buyers today so Saying all that, I did have a Macari order go out, or going out today. And it's this Jackson Hole Outerwear Men's Puffer Vest. I'll put a picture up. And it sold for $20 free shipping. I always do free shipping on Macari. Just because Macari's shipping is horrible. So I just do up the price and do free shipping on it. And ship through Pirate Ship. So, good sale. Glad to get it going. Alright, let's pull the Media Vault page. All right, first order going out on the Media Vault page, and I had a good day on it yesterday as well. I sold some jewelry. So this little um, gingerbread man charm necklace, necklace charm. It's a Betsy Johnson gingerbread man, large charm, pink rhinestone, and I took a best offer on it this morning for nine ninety nine plus shipping. So. I bought several of those pieces not too long ago at a yard sale, as you can see. I got a turtle. Uh, I think that's a heart or something. I don't know. I uh, bought several pieces at a yard sale here a while back for like five bucks for a whole box of them. Well, it was like four or five pieces. But that one sold for ten bucks, so I'm good on the deal. All right, next item we're going out is one of these classical music CDs. Uh, as you can see, the box is it's going on down a little bit because this thing was, I mean, totally packed full. And you can see how much room I have in each shelf or each row. But anyways, the one I'm looking for should be in this area somewhere. I think that's it. Yep. Mannheim Steamroller Christmas. Boy, don't that just sound exciting. Anyways, this came in the big bulk deal of all these CDs I bought. And I sold a bunch of them. And I've actually got a few more in that brown box right there. Uh, this one sold for $3.99 plus shipping. So, glad to get that one sold. Next order I have going out is a music book, song book. This one is a modern method for guitar. Volume 1 came in the big bulk deal of music books I bought not too long ago. And this one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And this one's going out to Canada, I believe. So, international shipping and they still paid it $9.99. Alright, next item I have going out is a baseball card. Been selling a few of those lately. And it's this 2021 Prism Green Mosaic. Javier Baez for the Chicago Cubs. I believe he's a catcher, I think. No, he's a shortstop. He's a shortstop. So for $4.99 plus shipping. So good so. Alright, next one I have going out is C3B. It's a VHS. I believe it's that one right there. A Killing Affair with Peter Weller, Kathy Baker, and John Glover. John Glover's the only one in that that I've actually heard of. Anyways, this one sold for $3.49 plus shipping. All right, and the next one I have going out is one of these multi-quantity orders I was talking about in the, uh, in the intro. And this one's a big order, and it's some of these football pins. Uh, I had a guy message me uh, yesterday and asked on this one pin, and I'll go ahead and pull it now. Um, it's this one, the Super Bowl, Coca-Cola Super Bowl 20 pin. I don't know how good these are going to show up, but I'll 
I'll put a picture of them up. And he asked if I would take $20 for five of them, plus shipping. I said, because I've got them listed, I think, for five ninety nine or something like that. I said, yeah, I'll sure do it. So I put Best Offer on. He paid, or he bought them. I sent him the invoice with the updated shipping. I said, hey, by the way, in my store, I have many other pens available. Just go in my store, search pen. So not only did he buy five of these, I'll go ahead and pull them now. And I have so many of these things. Three, four, five. So he bought five of the Super Bowl. He came back and bought a bunch more. So I was happy about that. And I told him, I said, buy all of them you want for four bucks a piece. And uh, I, I actually, on the next order, gave him... A, basically free shipping because i was like i'll just put the two orders together so he bought one of the miami dolphins it may take me a second to find them there's one of them i don't have a ton of the miami dolphins so he bought one miami dolphin yeah i've only got four more of those he bought one seattle seahawks I've got 26 more of that one. He bought one San Diego Chargers. And I've still got 26 available on that. He bought two Buffalo Bills. One, two. Yeah, that's right. He actually came back and bought another Buffalo Bill. And then he bought, and I got 22 Buffalo Bills left. And then he bought a Houston Oiler. And I thought I'd just seen that. Where was it? There it is. He bought a Houston Oiler. So, and I still have 20 Houston Oilers. So I bought these down in Alabama on the 411 sale. I've actually got video footage of it. I've just not ever edited it and put it out, but... I'm going to, but he ended up buying, how many pins is this? Uh, seven, it should be 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So he ended up buying 12 of them after the... After all the shipping was said and done, the first order on the five was twenty seven sixty three. That's including his taxes. And uh, the next order of the seven was thirty three twenty five. So I was super happy about that deal. I have around fifty cents a piece in these pens, so you know that's over a fifty dollar order that I would have had around six bucks in. So. And I've still got a ton of those things left. I think that I think I paid like $175 for all of them. And there was over $300. So it's going to take a little time to get my money back on them. I mean, that's 50 bucks of it back right there. Uh, I've sold, I think, like three or four others, just single pins. But that's the first. And this is what I was hoping would happen when I bought these. I was hoping somebody would come in and buy a bunch of them. I got to looking at his eBay, and he is actually a hat seller. So what perfect item to put with the hat you're trying to sell, because he sold a lot of sports teams hats, is a hat pin. So to pair that up with a vintage, cool-looking hat, because these are old. These are all from 1986. So a cool hat with a cool hat pin, I think that'll help his sale. And uh, I done good with them. I'm happy with that. So still got a little ways to go before I'm in the profit on that deal. But eventually I will be. And once I am, then it's all gravy. Like I said, I've got hundreds of these things left. So yeah, I was happy about that. All right, that's it for the Media Vault page. Let's pull the main account. All right, another good day on the main account. I have 11 orders going out for $363.22. I think the media vault page was a little over a hundred dollars so over four hundred dollars going out today i'm super happy about that fourth quarter is 
just continuing to be good this year. Uh, one of my best fourth quarters ever, honestly, or in a long time. And it just comes from, I think that listing challenge I did back in November was right on. I try to do that every year, but this year I don't ever remember listing 500 items in basically a month. So it helped this year and it came at a good time because my sales from the move have been really, really slow this year. Really, really bad. Moved my inven eBay inventory twice this year. I've moved twice this year. Go back and watch the previous videos and I talk about it, but glad to be having i'm glad to get ebay going again in the right direction i just want it to continue and build from where i'm at now so saying all that let's pull some orders b9 is the first one i picked this up on the 127 sale so it's kind of a cheap little sale but there it, is. it was kind of one of those things when i found it it was too cool to pass up just because of the little mini figure that's in there. It's this Road Champs Survivor Series WWF back when it was WWF. Attitude NHRA funny car with the mini fig. And I think I paid around a buck for this, two bucks, something like that. And it sold for eight nine nine plus shipping. But it's kind of one of those things that was too cool to pass up. All right, next item I have going out. I just bought this a few weeks ago. And they actually had a couple of them. I should have bought them all, but the other ones didn't look like they were new. And it's this uh, Space Maker Drip Coffee Makers uh, replacement uh, for the coffee for coffee makers, and it is brand new looks it anyways and it is in the box has no staining or anything like that from coffee so i couldn't pass it up and it was a dollar so yeah i couldn't pass it up for a dollar it sold for 19.99 plus shipping and it only took a few weeks to sell so pretty good deal all right next item i have going out and I was getting low. I think I even mentioned it in a video recently on my Johnny West stuff uh, as far as what I have listed. So I listed a bunch of it yesterday and I sold some of it yesterday. So, and this one is in B157. And it's this cowboy hat from the Johnny West uh, action figure accessory lot I bought during the 127 sale. Paid over a hundred bucks for this lot, but it had several figures in it and it had a ton of accessories in it. And I don't know how much of it I've sold. I've almost got all of it listed. There's one more bag about that size bag in here, over here on my death pile shelf. And, uh, it's pretty packed full. So I still got a few more accessories to list, but I was looking the other day and I didn't have a whole lot more of it listed. I just about sold it all and I was like, I need to list some of it. So I listed some of it. That cowboy hat was one of them. And that little hat sold for $8.99 plus shipping. And I actually sold another piece. And it's in B15-4, four, bag 4. Yeah, it's right here. And I thought this was a cool piece. And I ain't 100% sure because I couldn't find anything like it. I don't know if that's Johnny West or not. But I listed it as Johnny West because it came in the the accessory lot that had that was 99% Johnny West. It did have a couple of random G.I. Joe pieces in it. Like the big G.I. Joes. And I think this may be possibly G.I. Joe. Anyways, I listed it and it's a toboggan. As you can see, I listed it as Johnny West and it sold for $14.99 plus shipping and it sold quick. So actually both of those pieces sold quick because I sold them. I listed them yesterday and they sold yesterday. And to stay on that kick, I'll go ahead and skip down to this. This piece, this piece actually sold yesterday as well and I listed it as well. I'm not 100% sure once again that this is Johnny West, but that's what I listed it as. It's this black gun shoulder holster 
and it sold for $14.99 plus shipping as well. So those three pieces right there is about $40 in sales. That's crazy to me. But yeah, action figures, accessories, guys. If you see them and they're cheap, pick them up. All right, to get back onto the multi-quantity items to one buyer, had somebody come in and bought two of these magazines if you watch my channel you will know these magazines are money it's 16 and number seven i believe if you watch my channel you will know how good these things are i've already got 16 over here so multi-quantity items going out to one buyer I love it. The first one going out is Amazing Stories from January of 1928. So this one is one of the older ones I have. That magazine right there sold for $59.99 plus shipping. And then he came in and bought another one. And this one is Amazing Stories October 1937. As you can see, they changed the size of them sometime between 28 and 37 this one is not hardly as good it sold for 19.99 plus shipping so i will be shipping those together and i will be sending him a discount but 60 bucks for that one 20 for that one 80 dollars for two magazines that is crazy i love i love i love that i love these magazines i wish i could find a truckload of them somewhere but Good luck finding magazines that are 100 years old. I got super lucky on them. I paid $45 for the entire box of them. And I have sold so many of them. And a lot of them, I sold one the other day for $175. So, and I've sold them anywhere between, I think the lowest one I've sold was 15 And then the highest one I sold was 175 So, and anywhere in between. So, it is great, great deal. All right, next item I have going out, and it is another one of those multi-quantity deals. Two items to the same buyer, and it is some of these Viewmaster view reels. I'm looking for 101 Dalmatians and Winnie the Pooh. There is Winnie the Pooh, and there is 101 Dalmatians. And those have been really, really good and of all the stuff I have bought recently, these these things have surprised me probably more than anything. Not based on how much they sell for, because they don't sell for a ton, but how quick they sold. I've probably sold like 10 of them in the last month, and I just listed them like a month ago. So these two sold for $16.98 plus shipping combined. So I probably will be shipping, uh, I probably will be sending a discount back as well on the shipping. But $16.98 plus shipping on those. And they're cool. The 101 Dalmatians is from 1961. And Winnie the Pooh is from 1964. So 1961 on that one and 1964 on that one. So these guys are old. They're not in the greatest of condition. They do have some water staining for sure on them. But I've sold several of them like that and not had no complaints yet but it's kind of like the magazines when you're dealing with stuff anywhere between 50 and 100 years old it's going to have some condition issues more than likely so if you find that type of stuff in pristine condition you hit a gold mine all right next item i have going out and i have had this thing for so long i am so glad to get rid of it it's big it's not really big but it's super heavy i bought it at a thrift store probably a year or two ago i've sold so much stuff recently out of old inventory and i'll be honest with you i don't even know what this thing is it's kind of one of those things it's this matsuzaki automatic voltage regulator output but i think it is for another country because looking at the plug 
We don't have plugs like that. So I don't know what it is. It's a voltage regulator, but I know it's heavy. And this one is actually going out global shipping. So somebody paid a ton to ship this thing to them because it weighs, it'll weigh 12, 13 pounds by the time I ship it up. It sold for, I took the best offer on it. I can't remember what I paid for it. It was like 10 bucks, I think. It's in great condition, but I had no way of testing it because I don't have plug-ins like that. Um, so I just did the best I could with it. I took a best offer on it for $32 plus shipping. Like I said, it's going to, I don't even know where it's going to, but I'm shipping it to Kentucky. So, and they paid like 20 bucks to $22 just to ship it to Kentucky. So how much they paid from Kentucky to where they are? There's no telling. I would say another 50 bucks at least. All right, next item I have going out. I bought these a while back too, but actually just got around to listing them not too long ago. And apparently these things are pretty decent. Uh, I was looking at them when I listed them and there was quite a few sold comps on these. Crossword Companion Roller Puzzle System. Each one has, and it's these crossword puzzles, each one has 48 refill puzzles. This is volume 9, 10, 11, and 12. And I just lotted all these up together. I paid, I think, a dollar a piece for them at a thrift store. And they sold for $24.99 plus shipping. So a pretty good little sale, but apparently they go in like this little refillable folder or something and their crossword puzzles pretty neat but crossword companion so if you see any of that stuff lying around cheap you might want to take a look at it because they sell pretty quick and the last one i have gone out uh, this is kind of stuff here i'm more used to selling more familiar with selling it's this little truck and i love this little guy picked him up at a yard sale for a dollar that snaps back in um and i'll post the link of the video above if you want to check it out but it was something about a shed uh yard sale at a shed or garage sale at a shed or something like that anyways he it's where i bought all those train magazines which i've not sold any of yet but i do have them listed so maybe they'll sell eventually but anyways i picked this little truck up for a dollar it's one of those rev and go it works good it's kind of like a stomper sorta stompers have batteries and you don't rev them up but anyways he, he kind of along that same lines he is from 1982 picked him up for a dollar and he sold for 39.99 plus shipping so good, good sale. So that is all my sales. It does not look like a ton, but these add up. And like I said, I have multi-quantity orders here on the Viewmaster Reels and the magazines. So I love, love, love selling multi-quantity items to the same buyer because you can save on shipping. They can save, save on shipping. Gets rid of a bunch of stuff. I'm happy about that. So awesome day overall yesterday. Over $400. I was happy about that. Appreciate you guys watching. I got to get to work. I got a late start today. I slept in a little bit. It's already 11 o'clock. So usually I've already got everything shipped up and on my way to the post office. So I'm running about an hour behind today. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. So I appreciate you so very much. Old school picker out. <laughs>